while I was still in the high school, we used to have talks about the missions. And I always was fascinating about Africa. At first it was not easy when you don't know the language. But little by little I got used and I worked in the school for many years. And then in 1996, when the old sister who was running the orphanage passed away, the cardinal asked, since you are in the same compound, some of you have to take care of the children. The mission is to take care of orphan children, abandoned children, who have even handicapped children. The first thing that we try to provide is love, which we hope that it will fulfill a little from the distress and the sadness they feel when they find out that they are unwanted. Otherwise, we try to provide with all the necessities that any child in a proper home needs. Those who can, they attend the proper schools. At present, we have many even in the university. We had just one that has got his first degree in accounts. He's still looking for a job now. There are those who got proper jobs, and many of them now are married even, especially those who went abroad. I grew up here from the age six to 11, and then on my 12th birthday, I left Ethiopia to go to the United States. I currently live in Seattle, Washington, and I live with a group of people that were adapted from here. It wasn't just an orphanage. We didn't look at it as an orphanage. It was where we created brotherhood and sisterhood. So it was a home for us. What this orphanage has done is just beyond an amazing thing. And not just for me, but a lot of kids. I'm able to come back, volunteer, do a lot of things, you know, even in Ethiopia in general. There is no words to explain how much it has impacted us, but you could see what we have done and what kind of men and women we have become. I'll tell you the truth. If it wasn't God's providence that inspired or instilled in the heart of people to help these children, we couldn't have coped, especially during this time. We would like to thank heartily, heartily all our benefactors, but especially Knawa, that it was the first benefactor to help us. And these 25 years they have, that we have been working here, it has never failed us.